Hello dear students, this is Hussein Mohammed from Tishik International University Database Administrator. Today I will be showing you the SIS Student Information System for first graders on how to see their marks, attendance, syllables, lecture notes, and all other things that are related to the system. So firstly, I want to show you uh, the image that this uh, you will receive after you uh, register the courses from the department. As you can see, it is uh, three parts. It contains three parts. One of them is written student copy, other one advisory and student affairs. These two will be taken from you. You will only receive this part, the student copy part. What is this uh, contract? It shows you the courses that you have registered from the department for your academic year. But the important part is that the lower here, as you can see, it's written the student information system web page, the link, the username, and password. I have blurred it a little bit because of uh, privacy. This is uh, uh, only a test, uh, an example for you. You will be seeing your own ID number and password here and the website is the same link so what you will do you will open the website you will write my TIU and the first link should be it this is the uh, login page of the student as you can see my TIU.edu.iq student information system user ID and student ID and password it requires so you will write down your student ID and password in order to login and click login. Now, when you log in, first the home page will come out, and as you can see, it has several parts. I will be talking about uh, each one of them separately. So this is the home page. Your photo will be displayed here. Uh, your ID, name, department, email, all other things that are related to you will be shown here. The contact information. The second part, it is the uh, announcement part. Whenever your lecturer sends you a message, uh, whatever this exam date, uh, quiz date, or anything, it will be shown here. And then the third part is the e-learning part. The e-learning shows the courses that you have registered and uh, gives some information about the course for example you have two things here one of them is syllabus and the second one when you click on it it will show you the zoom so let me show you the first one this is the name of your course you want to see the syllabus you will click on the syllabus and it will open the syllabus of the course what is the syllabus? Syllabus is the teaching plan, teaching method of the course that is organized by your lecturer. So the lecture name will be here, the, uh, the language of the course, and uh, contact information of your lecturer about the course, the weekly plans of the course content, and uh, the marking, the grading system, how much the midterm, how much the quiz of this course, of this particular course, of course. So, this is the syllabus. And other than that, the second one is the Zoom meetings. So, sometimes the lecture will publish links, so it will be here. As you can see, active attendance check and the course live link. This link will be open. It will be in uh, green color, not red, because now it's closed, it's red color. When it's open, it will be green color, and it will write it here, it's started, it's open, please click to join the meeting. So let's go back. You have two things here, syllabus and the uh, Zoom meetings, when you click on the uh, lesson, the course. So the lower part here is not so important for now because this is the schedule and uh, usually the schedule is not 100% accurate. So I recommend for you to uh, 
uh, talk with your lecturers and uh, research assistants to publish the uh, accurate one, uh, up-to-date one, the schedule, and you will be good to go. So let's go to the second part of the navigation bar, the academics part. So here you will have several things, and the ones that are important for you are the transcript, attendance, and interim grades. Other than that, the other parts are related to the department and the course registration schedule. For example, these parts from registration till the course search are related to the uh, department. And the second part, which is these parts, are important for you because uh, let's start with the transcript. The transcript shows you the your grade from all the years, all the semesters of years. For example, this one is the first year, first semester, second second semester, first year, second semester, uh, first semester, second year, second semester, second year, third year, fourth year, so on. So this is most important thing for you to uh, follow up and uh, you will see your grade here grades here and the other one as I told you the attendance is also so important because uh, in our university if you fail from the attendance you have to retake the course next year and you have to reattend the courses and the default value of failing status is lower than 80 percent so how you will know it's 80 percent or not you come here attendance and as you can see there's a table showing you the name of the courses that you have registered and some little details about the table for example the first one is any failed status here now it's uh, not written anything because this student is not failing from any lecture. If you if he has anything le less than uh, eighty percent, this is the percentage total percentage. It will write here the fail. So now he is not failing because all of them greater than eighty percent. So this is the percentage that you have to check regularly. And how this is calculated is calculated based on the total classes that you make and the total number of attendance for example this student had 25 lessons from this particular course and he attended 23 of them so he has only two unattended courses from this and that's why the percentage is 92 over 100 so this is that and when you click on the course for details it will show you the details of the course. So he, is, he has 23 courses attended, the green ones, and the red ones are unattended. As you can see, this date and this course he is unattended, he is absent. This one, the detail is also good for you if you want to understand better the summary of the attendance of this course. If it's red, it's unattended, of course. If it's green, it's uh, attended. If it's orange, it has some issues with the registration. Maybe you have registration, uh, late registration, or something like that. So it will cause you attendance. Be aware of this. And also one other thing I want to tell you, that the duration, this means, if it's 50, duration 50 means one lesson. If it's 100, it's two. 150 is 3 and so on so now he's 50 one one it means two lessons he have uh, unattended so if you calculate all of them these ones are 2 2 1 1 2 it will be the same number as it shows here so this is the second part that was important for students and the third one as I told you the interim grades so what are interim grades and what is the difference between Interim grades and transcript. So let me show you. This interim grades are 
the grades that you receive during the semester, during the study. For example, the quiz mark, the midterm, uh, the presentation, let's say, the experiment, anything like that. It will be written here. The name of the course and then the title means homework or midterm or any other that. And then the grade that you have uh, received from the exam. But this one, the transcript, as I told you, this is the total. It's like a uh, total of the all the marks from 100. But we have a letter grading system, so it will show you as this. So if it's more than 90, it shows AA. And uh, between 90 and 80, it's BB. And it's like that. It will go on like that. The department will give you more information about the grading system. Uh, but for now, it's better to know uh, only the places of this uh, grading system. So these are finished. The lo lower part I will show you uh, in the following page. So when you click on the personal information, the third uh, part of the navigation bar, now you can see the personal information. Your information are written here. And you have some uh, other tools uh, on the left hand, for example, my settings, messages, Academic Canada, and uh, documents and forms. For example, the my settings part. Here, you can change your uh, password, uh, language of the site, and email. You can easily type the current password and new password and change. This will change your password. Uh, change language, these are coming soon. You can just click on them and change. And also the email, uh, you will click here and it will show you the email part. So this, this is not so important, this part, because it doesn't have uh, 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 anything uh, you will need to use a lot, because these are not uh, needed so much. And uh, messages, as I told you before, the announcement messages, you will see them here from your lectures and you will answer them and receive messages also. Academic calendar will be shown here for the students. Documents and forms also will be shown here for the students. So the last part, but not least, this uh, help part is also so important. So this part will be uh, based on the things that you require from the system. Uh, this is like a online petition, uh, writing a complaint letter or something like that. So if you have an issue with the online class, offline video, uh, anything, other attendance, you will write here the your issue. For example, I have an issue with course, course, blah, 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 and like this. You will write the name of the course, code, code, and everything. Lecture name. And then, I want this, this, and that. If you have a file, you want to uh, screenshot, you want to put a screenshot of it to make it more uh, reliable. And then send. And when you send it, like you, if you can see, send. Let's try. You will see like the... Your ID and uh, your request will be shown here. My request part. And it will give you time limit until the second uh, time you send. For example, now we cannot send it until uh, 72 hours pass. Because uh, we have to make an arrangement for the help uh, requests. If not, it will be so much and we cannot deal with them. So you have to send once and send it good and full of details so that we can help you the best. And as you can see, you, this is your request. It's written the date of it and uh, if it is closed or open. For example, this one is uh, closed. This one is open in process. And uh, your request and your issue that you have written here. And the response. Now the response is MPD because no one has answered it yet. When they answer it, it will uh, come here. And then, uh, if it's fixed, you will be uh, able to see that 
here. So this one was the last one. So anything related to these, for example, you see here, print this. You can print the page if you want uh, like a, a clue or anything like you want to show. For example, person finish. When you click here, print this, it will just print like this and then control P, it will print them. Okay? Uh, that's that. And from the upper part, as you can see, the date and the logout section. You click here and it will log out your account. So the last thing I want to show you is that you can visit the main page TIU website. TIU. This is uh, the main page. TIU. Uh, when you open the uh, main page, this is the website, you can find the lecture notes here. You go to the e-learning students lecture notes. Click on that and it will go to the department section. You choose your department, for example, dentistry. And it will show you the which grade you are. Choose the grade, for example, third, and then the course that you wish to see the lecture notes. For example, this one. When you click on it, it will ask you a password to show the lecture notes. So this password will be given to you by your department, and don't worry about this. And uh, other than that, uh, that's all. And this one also, I want to show you another thing on the home page. It is the e-learning part again, but I want to show you how you can receive the academic calendar if there is not uh, there. For example, academic, the academic calendar. This is also important. You click here and go down, you will see the academic calendars here. For now it's not ready because the students are uh, haven't been uh, registered yet. So this video is early, I'm recording. So when it's done, they will be here, the academic calendar of the new grade students. For example, the first grade and prep students. This will be yours, but it will be written 2021-2022. So you will click here. And it will download the exile file. As you can see, it will show you all the things that's related to this academic year. When is the holiday? When is the exam starts? Everything will be written here. So this is the second thing on this website. And the third thing is also e-learning students. Oh, no, sorry, e-learning video tutorials. This is the last thing I want to show you. You can also check this tutorial page to see the uh, videos that are uploaded here for information for the students. So that is all. I wish you good luck with your uh, studying and bye for now.